Hello everyone and welcome back. I apologize for my absence. I had some things to take care of, but we're back. We're better. We're bigger, maybe. And that's something we're going to talk about today. So since you last saw me, I have only read two volumes. Probably more by the time this video goes up. However, those two volumes are what we're talking about today. We are going to be doing a first impression on Gig Gigant. Um, I have volumes one and two, which is what is uh, released at this moment. Um, this is probably my closest ongoing uh, manga that I own, because I know technically Berserk is ongoing, but A, I'm not caught up, and B, we know how that goes. So, this is the manga that I know is still going, and I'm technically now caught up. So, we're going to dive into these first two volumes and try and keep it spoiler free. Um, if I end up wanting to spoil a little bit, I will let you know so you know when to, to, to look away. So without further ado, let's get into the review. So Gigant is the current work of Hiroya Oku, I believe it said. Uh, I'm not a person that knows Japanese, so I could be butchering that. I apologize. Uh, but he is the mangaka that does Gantz and Inu Inuyashiki, I believe. Um, he might be, might be known for more, but those are the two that I am familiar with. I have an omnibus of Gantz myself. Haven't read it yet, that might come soon because, oh boy, this was an interesting read, and that's why we're here. So, to give a brief synopsis of it without any spoilers, um, the story seems to focus on a teenager, and he is obsessed with a adult film star. And within a few uh, pages, you find out that this film star lives near him, and he's in a nicer area, and eventually they run into each other and so they become friends and it's really weird because like I said it's an adult film star and a high schooler um, so it's it kind of just like a, a, ra a real random just friendship between the two of them and then something weird happens to the adult star um, and she reaches out to him for some assistance things snowball out of control and there's a few twists along the way and it's it's a really interesting ride but they do come across at the end of the first volume a website that appears to be making wishes come true through a pull system and that leads into the twist of the second volume um, it leads in with things begin to snowball with that as well um, and by the end of it it's it's just mind-blowing on what kind of stuff this guy can think of um, now I don't want to give really any detail on the second volume because you have to understand what happens in the first one to uh, understand the second volume I mean that's usually how it works but this one, this one really just dives in. It doesn't have a slow start. We're going to compress that real quick. High schooler, obsessed with adult film star. Meets film star. Befriends film star. Twist, 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 twist. Holy crap. You follow? One of the things I know that he is well known for is his art. Because my god, is it great. One of the th reasons that I will already give this such a high praise is the pacing due to the art. Uh, I sat down and read both of these in probably just under an hour, maybe a little more than an hour, because it just flowed that well. It, it took me a second to find the pacing, but that's I'm, I'm still new to manga. I've got to find the pace in everything I read. But this the flow between the art and the writing, it's, the writing takes you for a twist, but the art kind of keeps you up with it. It, it, it doesn't let you fall behind what's, what's happening. Um, and I find that really enjoyable. As well as that, they, you can go for pages with just art and 
sounds, not dialogue, and it works. It doesn't drag. The, the art speaks for itself. You almost don't even need to read the sounds to know what sounds are happening. Um, and that top tier for me. Um, I love, I'm, a, I'm a big on the art. Sometimes I like something that isn't as well written for the art, and that's a little personal flaw, but I mean, we all have our own opinions, so that's just mine. But overall, I'd say if you are interested in Gigant and you haven't taken the drop on it yet, do it. They are a quick read, so maybe wait until there's a sale just because you're going to be paying, you know, 10 to $12 a piece for them. And I don't know if that's your type of thing, um, but overall, definitely suggest this can't wait for volume three i would definitely be talking about that when it's out doing a little recurring you know review of each volume once i get there because this, like i said this is the most uh current manga that i have simply because there's two volumes and i have both so moving forward look forward to uh some reviews on future volumes of gigant if you've made it this far, I want to say thank you for listening to the ramblings of this manga noob. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. And please, if you've read Gigant, tell me what you think about it in the comments. Uh, label your stuff with spoilers if you want to talk about things like that. I'm more than happy to discuss the actual volumes themselves. But again, just mark spoilers. Um, Thanks again for coming around. Uh, thanks again for waiting during my absence. Uh, and you can look forward to more videos really soon. I'm starting to grind through this shelf. So, so until next time, pick yourself something up. Read it. Tell me all about it. This is Crispy. I'm out of here.